Okay, I'm going to go over what I'm going to be, well, actually what I used for 2022 and then what I'm going to be using for 2023. And you can see here, I had started out with a zipper um, type of uh, planner cover and I have moved over as of December and November into this Moterm, which is super wonderful. You could put um, things in this back pocket. You can have all these different pockets here. I've actually just found this one. And then there's this one and this one. Um, I have this Coco Daisy cover over the effect. So it was the half version. The problem was is that I actually lost this uh, second part of the year for a little bit. Uh, and you can see that there was a lot that I didn't do. I actually had another... Um, Hobonichi that I had not used, um, the July, August, and September parts. And so I wound up using that until I found this again. And then I started using it. I guess I started using it in October-ish. I always have my uh, kind of schedule for work. And then I have these uh, one line per day kind of sheets that are Cocoa Daisies that I tip in. And I didn't do much here, but I did start to do a little bit better in December. And so you can see I was able to put in a line per day. There's a lot of things that I do for journaling and memory keeping that I could go over in the future if you'd like to see. But right now, um, I'm just showing you what's in my paper journals. So this is um, kind of for memory keeping. Um, I also use it a lot for writing out my weeks and my months. So this would be the month just to give an overview. And then there's a couple of things that I need to do for work that I kind of cross off here, which I haven't done. I still need to do. So this is uh, January 1st. So I'm going to move all of this over into the new one that I can show you. And then uh, I do a lot of the weeks. So there wasn't as much going on during this uh, in-between holiday week. And so I just had a few things. I put sometimes a little bit of to-dos here. I thought that, you know, putting to-dos here when they're not actually supposed to be done on that day uh, wasn't really helpful. So that what would happen is that I would wind up having, you know, these different um, days where I didn't do it at all. And then I had some sections where... I I think I had done it a little bit more. Maybe it was in the other one that I had. And I would just um, put the events that I knew were going to happen. And this was a good way to do my weekly review. I know that I was, um, you know, I had things on my digital cal uh, calendar that was on my work phone or I should say on my phone and on my work calendar. And then um, I'd be able to figure out where there were problems, overlaps, conflicts, that kind of thing by writing it out during the weekly review. I wasn't very good at that, but at least when I did it, um, I could get a better idea of what my week was going to be. And I'd actually have this out more than I would have actually the digital calendar out because the digital calendar would be on a back page of the computer and I'd be working. So this I could have out at the same time that I'm actually working. So what I wound up trying to do was keep a Coco Daisy B6 uh, daily page and I would put all the different things. This was from 1128 and I just kind of kept it through all of December when I had some random things that I needed to remember. And so I would uh, put them here and then what I'm probably going to do for January is transfer over the ones that have not been done and then keep this in this journal just as kind of a reminder of when I started to do this. All right. And then this seems to fit really well here. I do like to sometimes have it so that the December um, tab from the Coco Daisy thing comes out, but I'm actually going to go on a no spend year potentially. So I'm going to use up all the Coco Daisy stuff that I already have. And you can see I'm also using the little tabs. I kind of have two different sizes. This uh, tab here works really well, but you can see it gets a little bit floppy. These are a little bit more firm. And so I think I'm probably going to stick with the wider ones uh, for this next coming year. I have one for the monthly. I want for the weekly. I have one for uh, the 
one day or one line per day and then i also have one for the current day that i'm working on i'll probably journal a little bit here i do a little bit of mem memory keeping i keep a few things in do a little bit of drawing pictures are kept in day one where i do a little bit of uh, journaling there i also use rome research to kind of keep some ideas together i started to think about that i have like you know an event here uh and i would do a hobonichi put the memorabilia um, I would do Rome research to kind of link to the website, do some screenshots, highlight some maybe favorites, um, like dishes or things that I want to try next time. Day one to talk about how I love doing whatever I just did. And then there'd be photos. I always take a photo if I can of something each day. And then that way the photos automatically go into day one. And then I can journal about the photo in day one, which I haven't been doing. I've been, I started that probably like years ago and it looks like I haven't done anything for at least almost two years in day one, but I started to hear more people talk about it. So I'm going to go back to doing that on a regular basis. And then I also have this other uh, kind of pencil board type of thing, pen board. And I had some uh, Franklin Covey ones uh, for just keeping to do's, but I like the look of this. I just like the artwork behind it. So I'm probably going to just switch over to this, pull this off, and then just have this pencil board without a lot of other stuff on it. And then keep that in there and then keep the pencil board here. Okay, so you can see that I have uh, finished up this year and I started to do a few things, some um, comp accomplishments from this year, some things that I want to do next year. I'm going to set this up for 2023 and I actually have another planner that I'm going to be using that I'll just give you a little sneak peek of at the end and I will show you what that looks like in a moment. So what I'm going to do now is kind of go through uh, the pens that I'm using which are going to be the friction which I use on the weekly schedule just because sometimes things will move around so I'd like to have uh, the ability to change that. And then I have my uh, Preppy Pilot, which I love. I'm trying to use it as a dropper pen. So I just put a tiny bit in. It's already leaked a little bit, so I've been trying to keep it upright. So then that way it doesn't leak out because I love this pen a lot. Um, but I don't like to use the plastic inserts. I should probably just use one of those other inserts. Um, but it doesn't hold a lot of ink, so I do like having it as a dropper. Um, but if I have a major pen accident, I think it will probably like semi-die. But I will see if that works. And then what I'm going to do is set up for the next one, which means I'm going to pull over um, a couple different things. So I usually have, I try to do the momentum planner stuff, but I'm probably just not going to do that uh, in the future. I do have something that was forward um, planning. So I'll move all these events into the next uh, planner. Oh, and I did get the VEC before, so that's the half year. And I decided to make some changes, which is to do the new English version. And I'm doing the whole year, the whole year, which is going to be semi-amazing. And what I'm doing, and I'll show you this really quickly, is that I'm actually going to put this in here. But because I don't like this cover, um, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use uh, this Midori, I think, um, A5 cover that's clear. And then what I'm going to do, and it's super duper clear, it's super pretty. And it's not just necessarily keep the cover uh, from getting messed up, which you can see there was something here and it just kept on rubbing against uh, this. And then this had little holes in it. So I'm going to go ahead and then put this cover on. It fits super, super tight. And so what I'm going to do is um, get a vision board probably here, and then I'm going to put some goals, and then that way I can see it. Or I might have something similar to this where there's something just inspirational to look at when I open up the cover, keep me going. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to do kind of upcoming events or um, kind of major goals, and then um, vision board. And I think that'll look good in here. So I'm going to set that up. And... Yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of um, setup here and then um, I'll be all done. But let me just show you really quick. Ow. 
Okay, I'm also going to be using the Sterling Ink Common Planner, and it's got the little gilded edges, which I loved at first, but now I realize it kind of clashes with what I have on it. But I have this plastic cover. This is going to be for all my health and fitness, something that I've been doing a lot better with um, at the end. Or actually, I started in 2022, so I'd say that's one of my big accomplishments. So I am using the clear cover because I got the mauve. I'm actually not a big fan of the mauve. I guess I should have gotten the black, but I'm not going to worry about it because I have something over it. This is from uh, Christine Mylin. So just some artwork in the back. This would have worked better if it was a clear cover, but I do like this kind of design. Um, so I think this design on black would have been better. This is a B6 size. I put a Coco Daisy B6 um, little sheet in here. I think I'm probably gonna put some kind of major events that are coming up. I'm gonna run a marathon, hopefully do an Ironman 70.3, and then maybe be able to do one pull-up this year. That was my goal for 2022 and I didn't make it. So um, I'm still gonna try. And the way that this is working is I'm keeping a calendar, which I started in December when I first got this thing. And I was keeping just um, what I'm doing, kind of how much I'm running each week and then how many miles for January. The goal is 100, so hopefully I should be able to do that because um, I've been more consistent and consistency is my word for 2023. So I'm going to just keep up that. I think when I get to the weeklies, I might put food, like what I'm eating, because I think I need to keep a better track of that. And then I have different tabs for, it's kind of like a bullet journal because this is um, undated for the rest of it. Kind of things that I'm planning on that I need reference for so I can just pull this out and think about my pacing. Um, I have a different pacing chart that I put in here. I have uh, just some, you know, I think this is gonna work out really well and I'm gonna do this for other parts of my life. So I'm doing some goals for December and I'm going to do different goals for each month and then I'm just going to see because I thought just writing this out actually was super helpful in terms of thinking about um, areas that I'm building fitness and weights because um, even if I'm doing a seagull I can go oh am I doing that that's working well but I can do better but then I can still get credit for doing something and then I'm going to do um, I got to write today like what I thought of my December fitness goals and how much progress I was able to make. And then I have different areas like this one, I'm doing um, some daily fitness journaling. I see like a lot of runners, what they do is they'll just journal after each of their workouts just to kind of get an idea of how they're doing, how they're feeling. So I think that that's gonna be really good in terms of um, staying in touch with how things are going. And then there's a lot of pages. So um, I think this will, last it's a half year so it is super thin so it fits in here really nicely the pen actually fits here really nicely too so i'm thinking i'm i'm liking this idea i am worried that this is going to leak on here so i'm probably not going to keep that unless it's like um, at home and upright and i think the other thing uh just to think about is you know i like the idea that this actually fits in here really well and it like closes really well Ooh, of course not at the moment that i'm showing you guys but there's two different ones oh probably it didn't go over because i was using the half year but now this is the full year so this is what I'm using for right now, and I'm starting to really love it. So I will um, do a little bit of setup in here, get this journal started, and then I will show you what it looks like um, once I have some things ready. Bye.